All right, slightly different here. Okay, we're still trying to get that x by itself. Now we have kind of a quantity squared. We have that x minus 1 in parentheses squared. So if we just rewrite the problem here first, equals 25. We're going to use the same idea. We want to get that squared out of there. Um, so a way we can do that is basically just square the entire left side and the entire right side. Remember, whatever we do to one side, we have to do to the other. Now we know that that square root and that cancels out the squared. So all we really have left is x minus 1 equals positive and negative 5. That's very important. Don't forget that there's two solutions there to the square root of a positive number. Now this really turns into two problems because we have to have one with our positive 5, one with our negative 5. So if we go to solve that, x minus 1 is 5 and x minus 1 is negative 5. This is how we're going to get our two solutions. So now we're just solving for x. Add 1. So x is 6. Add 1. So x is negative 4. So there are our two solutions. So when we have a quantity squared, we don't need to panic. We can just square root both sides. The square root cancels out our squared. And then we know we have two answers on our right side. So split it into two and we'll get our two solutions there. All right, a couple examples here. Um, if we work through these quickly, we just divide by negative 3 here, so we're left with an x squared equals a positive 25. Take the square root of both sides, so we're going to have x is equal to a positive and a negative 5. All right, second one here, we're going to subtract 12 on both sides of the opposite operation. We're going to be left with x squared equals negative 2. We see that negative number on the right side, so we instantly know that there are no real solutions. And number three, we have a quantity squared, so we're going to square root both sides. And when we do that, we're just left with 2x plus 1 over here equals positive and negative 6. And this is where we need to branch off and do two problems. We have 2x plus 1 equals positive 6. And 2x plus 1 equals negative 6. And now we're just solving for x. Let's subtract 1. So we have 2x equals 5. Divide by 2 here, and we're going to get a fraction, which is okay. One of our solutions is 5 halves. And if we kind of squeeze this in on this side, we're going to subtract 1. So we have 2x equals negative 7. And divide by our 2 there, so we have x equals negative 7 halves. So there are our two solutions.